Good morning, guys. I was sitting here this morning thinking, um, although I was potting up some of my uh, cold crops that are I'm getting ready to put out here in the next couple of weeks. I haven't turned on the camera in a very, very long time. So most of you guys don't even know what's happened in their lives. First of all, let me say, welcome to Clover's Corner Suburban Homestead. If you are new here, um, thanks for joining me. If you're returning, thank you for joining me. Um, we have had a lot of changes. I haven't turned the camera on since late last summer. Uh, a lot of things happened. Good. Good things happened. Um, if you're not familiar with our story, when we started Cobra's Corner Suburban Homestead, we uh, lived in an HOA neighborhood. Loved the neighborhood, loved my neighbors, good neighbors, limit, limited to what we could do. We could garden, and that's what we did. That was primarily our focus. We did um, a large part of our backyard was uh, dedicated to gardening. Um, I can, as you can see from behind me, um, the, the the dehydrate, uh, bake as much as I can from scratch. I can't do it all, obviously. I mean, that's very hard for anybody to do. Uh, I can't do it all, so there are things I have to depend on the store for still. As far as um, as far as our meats, we we source them from local farmers. We buy in bulk. Um, we also buy our dairy in from a local dairy farm that they actually deliver it right to our house every week. So that's pretty awesome. And it has the cream. It's pasteurized to, I guess, just enough that they can sell it and it's not raw milk. But we can, I can still use cream. I can, you can separate the cream off of it. So it's really awesome. Um, and not expensive at all. And I would rather spend a dollar or two more a gallon of milk to get the better milk and support a local farmer. So, um, changes that have been made. Uh, if you're not familiar, if we, I don't, I didn't video a lot in the house at the old at the old homestead, just because most of my um, content revolved around the garden. Um, I did show a few things inside. If you guys, um, if you did see the video or you're familiar with my, our home, this was a built-in. From, well, okay, this was the di the cabinet in the formal dining room at the old house. This actually started out in the old house as an entertainment center. Um, we converted it to a canning pantry in our formal dining room at the old house. And I love it. It holds, you know, a lot of stuff. As you can see, there's actually shelves back here that you can't see. It's got my dehydrator on it and some dry beef and some dry stuff. Um, we were anticipating it staying at the old house because we basically had um, modified it so that it looked like it was a built-in part of that dining room. The people that, the couple that purchased our home decided that they didn't want it. So we took it apart, <laughs> we brought it here, and we had to do some um, modifications to it because the ceilings here are a foot shorter than they were at the old house. So we had to do some fine-tuning at the bottom of, it, bottom of it, but it's done and it looks great and I'm happy that it's here. So what happened? Last summer, I, I'm not going to go into all the details because some of it involves other family members and it's private business and so, but last summer we ended up getting, have, being presented with the opportunity to buy a home um, on two acres of property. Now we're we're only with about 15 minutes away from where we were before, so it's not like we had to move a half an hour to do it or whatever. Um, and there will be changes being made to this home that won't be. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if they'll be videoed or not. You might see them from like the outside. I don't know if we'll go into details as to the who, what, and why. Um, because some things you just have to keep to yourself. Um, so we purchased the property, it's two acres, it's in a subdivision still, but it's not a subdivision in town. Um, it's There's no HOA, we have a 
rectangular yard. It's awesome. <laughs> Our house sits about a third-ish of the way back on the property. So we have a significant um, backyard. When we moved in, there was one 8x12 shed on the property. I think it was 8x12, 8x10, 8x12. Your standard barn shaped shed. Nothing else in the backyard other than some trees that were established. There was an established uh, pear tree and apple tree that we know for sure because those had fruit on them when we got here. And there was uh, what I'm thinking is a peach tree. Um, it's in pretty rough shape though, so that most likely is going to come out. Um, we are going to, we already have on order for this year um, from Stark Brothers. I have fruit trees, excuse me, berry bushes, strawberries. We're going to be turning part of our backyard into an orchard, a small orchard for us. It's two acres. Um, and then the garden spaces. I have two garden spaces planned out. I'll share those um, plans as, as we get closer to um, actually putting them in to the works or maybe I'll throw it. I draw them up. It's nothing fancy. It's my version of <laughs> to scale. You know? um, but we're going to have a potage garden off the back deck and then further back we're going to have the bigger production garden. Production garden for our family. I'm not selling anything. Um, the, it's, it's just for our garden. Um, we get to have chickens. I'm excited. Um, I have those on order. Those will be coming in the very beginning of April. Happy birthday to me. So we have a lot of things to do to get ready for them. Um, we we can have rabbits here. We can have quail here. We can do pretty much what we want. But we're not going to go <coughs> hog wild, so to speak. Or, you know, there are things there are things that we're looking at doing, like the meat rabbits, but we don't know if we're going to do them this year or if we're going to that's going to be next year or what, but we're definitely doing the chickens, doing their gardens, um, doing a fruit orchard. Which, that really excites me because at the old house we couldn't plant trees unless you got approval and they had to be this, that, and something else, you know, it had to be so far uh, away from, th there was just so many specifics as to how you had to do them. Here it's pretty much our yard, so we can do what we want. When we moved in, there was no fencing. Um, we have two dogs, and we have children. Um, not that the neighborhood is like it, it's a it's a subdivision, but it's not a super busy subdivision. But still, I don't want my animals getting out, and it'll protect the the chickens, and that will be in the back also, um, so it'll protect them. So we had a fence put up, which. It's a very nice fence, but <laughs> it's not cheap because it's a wood fence. Uh, it's wood and welded wire. So, but still, <laughs> um, they did a, the company that we hired. Uh, the company that we hired was a local company, small business. We had them do some landscaping stuff for us before. They knocked it out in a week. In a week, and it's a large area. If you're if you follow me on Instagram or face or in our Facebook group, I've posted pictures as they were going. Um and the weather wasn't always cooperative either. So um so we got the back portion of the yard fenced in. The dogs now have a place to run. The, we don't have to worry about the you know we just don't have to worry about the neighbors dogs coming in. It's just a protection for everybody but anyway so we have lots of things planned for this year we are getting a freeze dryer it's on order we ordered it about three weeks ago it should be here they said six to eight weeks I'm excited about that more ways to preserve our food um, long term you know so we're not wasting that's what we're our, that's what we're um, our main objective is to do as much for ourselves as we can and to waste as little as as possible. Nobody likes to waste things. And if you, for me, I'm putting all my effort into growing this stuff. I don't want to waste it. You know, I don't want it to go it's bad because, oh, we didn't get to that or whatever. And the great thing about the freeze dryers is that you can, you can use them to dry your leftovers. So if we make too much, like sometimes I double batch cook, which... I do intentionally sometimes, and sometimes it just happens. <laughs> Depends on what I'm making. Um, 
and you can freeze dry that stuff. So then all you have to do is open up the container you have it in and rehydrate it and in five minutes maybe you have the same hot delicious meal that it might have taken an hour to make. Um, doesn't mean I'm not going to cook fresh obviously but it, it just helps in the event of like power outages with the weather being crazy like it has been and, and everything going on it's just it's just nice to have that as a backup. Um, we live in if you're not familiar with where we're at we're in Maryland um, zone 7a 7b depending on who you talk to um, but the weather's been kind of wonky everywhere even down south I mean look at the freezes they've had so it, it doesn't hurt to be prepared and this is something that we've um, that I personally wanted for many many years and that Brett and I have both for the last several years have you know gone back and forth to we need it do you know and we decided that we were going to go for it and um, we had been saving and have some you know the ability to do that so lots of things happening I plan on, I'm planning on taking you guys along um, right now I'm planning one video a week um, I am thinking that once I get the um, freeze dryer um, throwing some freeze dry videos up there and I've never used one before so it'll be learning together uh, canning I'm not an expert canner um, I've canned for lots of years I have water bath can for a lot I've pressure canned for a little bit less than water bath canning but I've just started venturing out to do things like uh, the soups and um, like I have so I reach it this is um, sweet and hot Thai dipping sauce. Stuff like that. Like I've never, I haven't really done much of that before. Canning, canning meats and stuff. Um, I've only done that stuff for like the last couple of years. I've done vegetables for a long time for pressure canning. So I'm stepping up. If I do those videos, I want everybody to know, and I'm sure I'll probably make the disclaimers there in the videos that I follow the tried and true recipe, the tested recipes. Um, for now that doesn't mean that at some point I might one, once I get more comfortable I might not step outside of those two but everything I can right now is the tested recipes I'm not judging anybody else whatever you do in your kitchen that saying that's going around your kitchen your rules I'm all I, I'm 100% behind that um, I would not ever come into your house and say you're doing this wrong you should do it this way because this is the right way just like I wouldn't think that you would come into my house but anyway, that being said, so I'm gonna throw up some canning recipe, or some canning videos, some baking videos. Not an expert baker, not an expert canner, not an expert gardener. I'm not gonna pretend that I'm something that I'm not, but I am experienced in all of those areas. Um, so if there's something that you see me do that you're like, hmm, is that the right way to do it? You can ask. I don't care. Just ask politely, like I tell all the kids. Be polite about what you're saying and there's no problem with that. So anyway guys, I just kind of wanted to catch up a little bit. I'm kind of rambling um, about what's been going on, where we've been. My intention is to come back to videos at least once a week, possibly more, but at least once a week. Again, if you're new to the channel, thanks. I hope you hit the subscribe button and join us and follow us along on our adventure and watch us transform the the new homestead into what we're looking forward to. We have gardens to build and chickens to house and all that fun stuff. And obviously, if you're not a new subscriber, thanks for sticking with us, guys. Um, and we are looking forward to sharing this adventure with you guys. Also, you guys have seen the have seen the work that we put into the old house also. So you get to watch us start from the ground up here because there, when I started the YouTube channel, I had already had a garden established. So. Now you get to watch the whole thing from scratch. Thanks for joining me today, guys. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you on the next video.